Grade 5, Module 1, Lesson 5, Problem Set. Name decimal fractions in expanded, standard, and word form. Number 1C on the problem set gives you a number in word form and asks you to express it as decimal numerals or in standard form. It reads 1 and 324 thousandths. It's important to remember that end tells you where the decimal point's going to be. So this number reads 1 end, so it would be 1 decimal. 324 thousandths. And to make sure that this number is correct, I need to remember that thousandths is three place values after the decimal point. So I would go back to my number and make sure that it ends in the thousandths place. It does. So this is the number in standard form. Number 2b asks you to express the number that they gave you in standard form in words. So the number reads 11 and 37 thousandths. And that's exactly what I would write in words. 11 and 37 thousandths. And I remembered to use end where my decimal place is, and I made sure that I ended in the correct place value spot. Number 3C asks you to write a number on a place value chart, then write it in expanded form using fractions or decimals. The number reads 57 and 281 thousandths. The first thing that I need to do is label my place value chart. This is the tens, ones, this is where my decimal goes, tenths, hundredths, and thousandths. When I look at my number, I see that the 5 is in the tens place. The 7's in the ones. There's a 2 in the tenths. 8 in the hundredths. And 1 in the thousandths. So now I have my number on a place value chart. Now I need to write it in expanded form. This 5 doesn't actually stand for 5. It stands for 50. So I need to write 5 times 10. I'm then going to add that to my ones place. There's a 7 in the 1's place, so it's 7 times 1 to get me to 7. I'm going to add that to my 10's place. There's a 2 in the 10's place. And now again, I can write this using fractions or decimals. As a fraction, I would write it as 1 tenth. As a decimal, I would do 2 times 1 tenth. And I'm going to add that to my 100th place. There's an 8 in the 100th place, and I could write it as a fraction or as a decimal. And lastly, I'd add it to my thousandths place. There's a 1 in the thousandths place as a fraction or as a decimal. And that's how I'd write my number in expanded form. Lastly, number 4a on the problem set asks you to write a decimal for a number that's already written in expanded form. It tells me 7 times 10. That tells me that there's 70 in this number. So I'll put a 7 in the tens place. 4 times 1 is a 4 in the 1's place. 6 times a tenth tells me that I need a decimal and then put a 6 in the tenth's place. 9 times 100 is a 9 in the hundredth's place. And 2 times a thousand is a 2 in the thousandth's place. That's how you would write a number in standard form from expanded form.